Number 50, unreasonable results. Letter A, find the maximum range of a super cannon that has a muzzle velocity of four kilometers per second. Okay, so very simple drawing. So we have a cannon uh, that will be firing at a rate of four kilometers per second. So the initial velocity here is four kilometers per second. Converting that into meters per second, that would be 4,000 meters per second. And we want to find the maximum range. Therefore, neglecting any air resistance, we would have a, uh, an angle of 45. That would give us the maximum range. Okay, now to find then the overall range of this thing, what we're looking for, and this remember is R, okay. Um, we're going to use this particular formula on the right-hand side. So we have the range of x will equal the initial velocity squared times the sine of 2 times theta divided by g. So the initial velocity squared we said is going to be 4,000 meters per second. The sine then of 2 times 45, remember that's 90 and the sine of 90 is 1, so that's why it's a maximum, divided then by 9.80. So easy enough, just take out the calculator and let's plug it all in. Don't forget the squared sign like I just did. That whole thing is squared. So we get 40,000 squared uh, divided by 9.8 essentially. So this is a very large number. So we got 1.63 times, let's see, times 10 raised to the 3, 6, 6. Uh, that is in meters. So literally this is going to be, uh, what is that? 1.6 million meters, okay? Now thinking about that in terms of kilometers, let's see what that is in kilometers, right? We just gotta uh, bring the decimal point over uh, three spots, right? So I'll, I won't put this in scientific uh, notation though, but this would be 1,632 or 30 uh, kilometers. That would be the range. Is, is this unreasonable? What are we talking, well, let's think about the Earth. Here's the Earth, okay? It has a radius of about 6,000 kilometers. So literally, um, what fraction is this uh, range of the radius? So 1630 divided by 6,000, it's like 27%, right? Almost 30%. So that means we would have shot this cannon if we're at the top of Earth, right? We would have shot the cannon about this far ish. Now this distance, it doesn't look like much on the graph here, but we're going to talk about a major difference in terms of the height. So now the curvature of the Earth is definitely going to affect this theoretical maximum range, right? If Assuming no uh, resistance, no air resistance, the uh, theoretical maximum range should actually be larger now, right? Because it's not going to, it doesn't hit a flat Earth out here at all. It's going to travel, you know, kind of like this. And if it were going to hit Earth right here, it's not going to, it's that it's going to keep going. So it's going to be longer. Um, so that's fine, all right? It's not, a, it's not reasonable. Is the premise unreasonable? Yeah, I mean, the equation is not really applicable because this equation requires that the release point be the same as the end point, that this height and this height are the same. But you can see clearly, even from my picture over here, that's not going to be the case. And also, air resistance will definitely uh, be affecting this object. Specifically, the higher it goes, the thinner the air gets. Therefore, actually, the less air resistance there will be. Uh, but yeah, there's too many other factors that in reality would influence this. And um, it's just unreasonable. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.